At Leighton Contractors, it's time for us to think about ways we can be stronger together as a group and how each business can learn from the others. This means thinking less as individual areas and projects and more as part of one team. Metlabs was formed in 1950 and is Australia's first private commercially owned non-destructive testing business. And that's industrial radiography, ultrasonics, uh, condition monitoring for our clients. The testing work we do for them is important in uh, enabling them to maintain and sustain their rotating equipment, their large industrial infrastructure. We've been doing business with some of these clients for over 30 years continuously. Following Leighton's acquisition of Metlabs, we now have access to Leighton's financial and commercial strength, and that's of tremendous value to the Metlabs business. The Leighton Contractors Telecommunications Group has evolved into one of Australia's leading telecommunications project managers and developers. Vision Stream was purchased from uh, Telstra about uh, nine years ago. It has since worked in a number of areas, but particularly with Telstra in the fixed line, done a number of very exciting uh, big projects. We then purchased LSE, which is a wireless equivalent to, to allow us to, to get into the wireless space, telco space. And then recently, of course, we've uh, purchased uh, NextGen Network, and we now operate as a carrier. Being part of the group is, uh, is enormously important to, to our individual businesses. That comes around a couple of ways. One way is that we get the support of the other, other regions and a fair bit of our work is now coming back through the regions and, and through the, the Leighton Group itself. And another key feature, of course, is the Leighton Balance Sheet allows us to, to do exciting big projects that a lot of our competitors just can't do. We've been successful with Telstra, we believe, because we've tried to enter into a partnership rather than a, a hard and fast adversarial contractual relationship. I found by working in a partnering way, we both understand what our businesses want to achieve individually, but also collectively. And that way we're much more aligned in the outcomes we're achieving. I'm achieving my goals and I think Vision should be achieving their goals in this way. I'm looking really forward to the future. There are challenges, but the, uh, the opportunities are great as well. Mayfield Engineering provides a range of engineering services and solutions for clients across Australia. Mayfield was established in 1936 and um, really over the years has grown into a multidiscipline engineering company. Um, we take on the whole project from civil, structural, mechanical, electrical and deliver the whole project to the client. Clients want to know that you have experience of relationship contracting and of building reputations and developing relationships. And they're looking for a company who they can work with um, alongside in a, in a friendly way, in, in, a, in an open way. Uh, it's fairly obvious to me that Leighton's didn't buy Mayfield so that we could stay in Adelaide. They bought Mayfield so that we would uh, support them in the mechanical and electrical business throughout Australia. So it's a new opportunity for Leighton's and it's a great opportunity for Mayfield. Amcor are a large Australian packaging company, but they'd never been in glass containers before. So this was their first flurry into, into the glass market. And so we, our, our deal was to give them a whole bolt-on business. Uh, and so we created a new business for them and uh, it, it, they added that to their uh, suite of uh, packaging companies. The plant exclusively makes wine bottles. It's designed for that industry and its product is consumed 100% by the wine industry in Australia. We assisted Amcor in convincing their potential clients that we could really make this thing happen. And that was, that was the first big challenge and then followed many other challenges, doing it on time, meeting costs, performance, and finally uh, bringing it online and making those first bottles. We probably lived the highs and the lows together as a team, enjoyed each other's company and created great, great friendships, I think, that will hopefully carry on into the future. The biggest challenge that the team's faced on this project is to work in that operating rail environment. We have uh, a thousand trains a day, we have 60,000 people a day that have to come through our project. We need to understand that those 60,000 people are uh, not necessarily able-bodied either, they could be uh, disabled, they could be elderly, so it's very difficult to make sure that we provide the safe access for all those people through the project. 
Delivering a project of this size and significance can only be achieved one way, by working as a team towards a common goal. We've inducted about 4,200 people into the project over the, the time we've been here. Uh, a large number of those have also been inducted into rail safety work as well. The teamwork is, uh, ultimately has worked by people supporting each other on the job. Um, you know, within that frustration, they've been able to continually liaise and interact with other, each other to get support. It's a strong team both out on the, the workforce on site and amongst the office group. And I think this comes from uh, having a, a workforce and, and staff group that has worked together on many projects before. The legacy of Spencer Street Station will be a wonderful landmark in a city where landmarks are important. Spencer Street is a demonstration of the can-do culture of Leighton. We have hung in here and completed this project amongst enormous odds. To build one of Australia's largest sea walls required large quantities of raw material and a great deal of environmental sensitivity and care in order to protect the habitat of the nearby Moreton Bay Marine Park. The Port of Brisbane is actually the fastest growing port in Australia with double digit percentage growth per annum um, in terms of you know, incoming and out outgoing trade. So the need for the development of this particular facility covered two aspects. The primary of those was actually to provide more capacity for dredging spoil, for maintenance spoil, and the second was really to provide opportunity for future development. Right from the start when we selected Leightons we, uh, we could see they had a very uh, good systems approach to, to uh, managing, the, managing their contracts and managing the risks associated with their contract and I think uh, throughout the project that uh, risk management and systems approach has been uh, reflected in the, uh, in the outcomes. We were able to finish it ahead of program and significantly under budget which was how we were able to finance some of the legacy projects that were left behind. This is the bird roost. Uh, this is our environmental legacy that we're leaving behind on this project. Uh, we've built two bird hides and um, it's basically for the shorebirds and they will come and roost. There's eight hectares of land, but this will also be used by uh, local bird groups and also schools and the community uh, for research development and also for education. It was a particularly sensitive marine environment. Um, with, as we referred to them on the project, charismatic megafauna, you know, bounding through the waves, so to speak, but, you know, dugong, um, dolphins, turtles, shark, and those sort of types of um, animals, as well as a lot of um, very important bird, wader, and migratory birds um, associated with the site. The project, I feel, has been a great success, and um, sort of tell that by the, the relationships we've built with all the partners and the Port of Brisbane. While urban environments provide many challenges for construction companies, large mining projects come with their own inherent environmental sensitivities on a much larger scale. Clients are looking for a mining partner that can uh, help in key areas such as the environment, uh, community and not forgetting safety. That's number one. It's all about sustainability. Mining's going to be around for a long time. We want to be part of it. We're looking at about a $60 billion industry uh, as we speak and we want our fair share of uh, participation in that industry. You don't get that participation by being a cowboy. You've got to know what you're doing, you've got to employ good people, you've got to work with good clients and like-minded clients, and uh, working with the communities with which uh, mining's a part of. We risk assess all uh, activities that we do on the mine site, whether it be safety, environmental, uh, or others. At the end of the day, we are the operators of the mine. The clients own the mines. It's their reputations on the line if we don't deliver and perform. So we have to continue managing those aspects of mining and uh, continue doing a good job. At Leighton, we are looking more and more for opportunities to partner with businesses up and down the value chain. This includes financiers, developers, major suppliers, consultants and specialist subcontractors. In terms of the M7 project, a very large project on the, uh, on the outskirts of Sydney, Leightons and Macquarie decided very early on that we were going to work together on this project, did a lot of initial work, actually put together a consortium and we worked together as a, as a great team with Leightons. Leightons also brought in the Abbey Group who were very good in terms of uh, paving and, and making, the, uh, making the project work. 
A relationship is very much about the people. Uh, what we found at Leighton's with the quality and the experience of the people is that that's complemented the Abbey Group people and the way we approach work. Uh, the approach to the construction techniques, the risk assessment and how we manage risk, it's very similar. So the, the way the people have um, been able to work together and complement each other has allowed the project to get to where it is today. The big benefits coming out of the joint venture, for, particularly for a big contract, is the complementary skills and capabilities of both companies. The biggest challenges on the M7 are just the size of the job itself. It's a billion and a half dollar contract. Uh, it's a three and a half year time frame. A big uh, on-site workforce that continue to people, uh, some 2,000 people, spread over 40 kilometres of the western suburbs in Sydney. Safety is, a, is quite, quite difficult to uh, spread out over that far with that many people. Uh, we're working in a public environment. Uh, we cross a lot of local roads. Therefore, we've got a big, heavy uh, public interface. The community have had a, a huge role on this project. They've provided some very positive feedback. They've had some input into the design and construction of the site. We have a huge team of environmental um, specialists who, who go out and ensure that what we're doing out on site in terms of construction is managed day to day. The job's going to finish eight months early. Um, a job that finishes early is always a good outcome for the company and usually for everyone else concerned. Uh, the budget always holds. Uh, the, we fulfilled our commitment to all the stakeholders, the, the public, government agencies and, and our clients, uh, the private funders and it's at the end of the day it's been a, a good outcome for everyone involved in the project. Um, so we say mission accomplished. From a base in Perth, focusing on high quality short term projects, Broad Construction Services now operates in South Australia, New South Wales and Queensland. Broad is a construction company, it's in its 15th year uh, and company started by myself and our range of projects vary from $5 million to $50 million. When you call for tender prices for most other building construction companies in Western Australia, they spend most of their time working out how they can charge you extras and more on the contract. Broad Constructions spend all of their time working out how they can build it for less price and share the savings. Having a latent contract as a, as a major shareholder for provider security has given us this, uh, improved systems in IT and uh, IT hardware. Uh, also uh, has given us an uh, opportunity to joint venture with, uh, with uh, um, various branches of uh, Leighton. Uh, it certainly gives us the strength to, to go to bigger projects. While success for both Broad and all Leighton Group companies is important, it can't be achieved at any cost. The safety and health of everyone in the workplace is our first priority. Safety is imperative because uh, the environment that we're in um, the machinery we use, the equipment we use is possibly life-threatening. So at Broad we consider safety to be paramount to all that we do. Companies have a moral obligation to make sure that they do provide safe workplaces. We're trying to create the culture of safety is an inherent part of everything we do. It's, in, it's, it's how we want to plan all the work and we won't proceed with works if they're not considered to be able to be built safely. No longer do you just look out for yourself and as far as safety and, and uh, looking after yourself as an individual, but you've got to look out for your mates. Regardless of if they can stop work or rectify the problem, we want them to report it to somebody who can stop the work or rectify the problem. While forging stronger partnerships with our clients is the way of the future, it's important to remember that strong internal partnerships are needed as well. How well we support each other across our many businesses and geographies will determine just how strong we will grow. It's really important that we do work stronger together. The reason being for that is unfortunately the business has operated uh, in silos. We need to remove those barriers and we need to look at it as a national company. We need to be able to leverage off what are the best practice we have in the business uh, and use that across the company as well as external uh, resources to be able to build and provide to our company to strengthen and lead it into the future. We are delivering services end to end for, for all of Leighton contractors for broad construction services. Um, to, to Vision Stream. Uh, we're also in the process of uh, establishing a relationship with the guys over in uh, Mayfield Engineering and, and Met Labs for recent acquisitions and uh, obviously looking some plans for them in 
uh, integrating them into our, in the rest of the uh, infrastructure. We're looking for people to have a career with the lanes as opposed to a job. Uh, we need to sustain our staff to develop them to ensure that they have a career in place across uh, lanes. Obviously we need to give them support and development to ensure that they have that. One of the funniest things I've ever seen in the construction industry was um, we were building a, uh, a hotel and I was there on a Saturday and this uh, painter came in with uh, his young son and uh, he looked around the job and motioned to his son and said, son, look what I built. And uh, I had a bit of a laugh because he's just a painter. Um, but it's good because everyone partnerships in it knowing that they've built the job together. We had a great team who, who lived the vision of of creating a new business and I think that that energy and passion came out in a, in, a, in a better than expected performance. Without that passion we wouldn't have been able to achieve what we, what we, what we ultimately did. When we work with, with, with latent contractors on, on a project we have to work as, as one team. We have to work as one team. There's no point in it's both coming and maintaining our separate identity because we know when we're working together as one team we are stronger together. We are stronger together for the sake of the bid and for the project delivery and ultimately for the community who's receiving the benefit of the project.